Since we're focusing on dietary fats and oils today, let's start with one of the very best, healthy and delicious olive oil. In this case, served over a vibrant Mediterranean-style sauce served warm over freshly grilled ahi tuna. I'm David Jackson. 40 years ago, I was cooking in swanky hotels and winning awards from the American Culinary Federation. 30 years ago, I hosted a nutrition-conscious cooking series for the Hospital Satellite Network. 10 years ago, despite half a century of good eating habits, I found out that I wasn't immortal. And I'm not alone. Can doctors' orders to moderate salt, fat, and refined carbs share our plates with mouth-watering gourmet recipes? Yes, they can. This is one of the simplest sauces to make in the whole world. You don't need pan drippings and roux and all that stuff, which is pretty fat. We're just starting with a very healthy fat, olive oil. In a smallish pan, you want about three tables, in fact, not about, three tablespoons of olive oil, good extra virgin olive oil, which is just about there, okay? And let's start with one. That's a, I was gonna do two, but that's a pretty plump little clove of garlic, so I think one is adequate. And remember, garlic is very good and healthy for you, too. All right, there we go. One little smash on that. Shallots beat onions 100 ways from Tuesday. They are in the same family, but shallots are so much sweeter and more delicate. I love them. And all we're gonna do is just run right through thin strips, and then one little cross cut like that to break them up. Now, some, you might wanna just mince it up very small, but I like the big chunky aspect to this sauce. All right, there we go. Then, Two smaller ingredients, a scant teaspoon of whole grain mustard. Not the pulverized stuff like Dijon, but the whole grain. We want all those little mustardy beads to pop in the sauce when you chew on it. And then we also need one tablespoon, or not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of capers. Just buzz through them real quick and easy. And that goes in right there. Oh, it's looking good already. Now, what else? Oh, a nice little chunk of fresh cilantro. That might be a little bit much. Let's just go through it and decide how much. Like two heaping tablespoons of coarsely chopped cilantro. About like that, I think. Maybe just a little more. I like fresh herbs and a little freshly ground black pepper. Yeah, one extra. And then the final ingredient is lemon. Now we're gonna start with the zest. We want a decent little bit of zest. That really gives it a lot of perfume. Just like that. And then, Cilantro is getting all over everywhere. Uh, then maybe about a quarter of a lemon in juice. And just make sure you trap the seeds. All we're going to do is just put this over on, we're going to heat the grill up and get it ready for the tuna. And the sauce is just going to go on the back of the grill and stay, not get on direct really hot heat. And it's just going to warm. We want this sauce to just warm up to about 140, 150 degrees. We don't want it to boil. We don't want it to burn. All it's going to be is warm. All right. So now I'll go get the tuna out of the fridge. OK, that grill's piping hot, ready for the tuna. But look at this sauce. Oh, that's great. OK, tuna. Uh, six ounces, that's about all we need. That's the recommended weekly allowance of tuna, according to the Food and Drug Administration, because there is 
You may know, you've probably read about it there, it can be a little mercury in tuna. Not enough to be bad if you just eat it in moderation. But tuna also is extremely high in protein and very high in omega-3s, so it's a balance. Don't eat too much, but when you do eat it, it's superb. All right, this is fresh ahi tuna, a little fat six ounce steak. And we're just gonna rub it with a little olive oil so it goes on the grill and doesn't stick. And just as easy as that. Isn't that sizzle? Love it. Mm -hmm. Let's try the other crosshatch now. Ah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Who said food can't be art? It absolutely is. That lovely crosshatch pattern. All right, that tuna is perfect. By the way, I've got right here on the plate a little bit of quinoa salad. It's just simply cooked quinoa that's been cooled down to room temperature, a little chopped parsley, a little red onion, and some tomato in there. A little squeeze of lemon, and then we'll drizzle some of the olive oil sauce on there as well as the tuna. And that beauty just goes right there, like that. And here's the piece de resistance, this lovely sauce. Now remember, a lot of the vegetables is good, but you only want maximum one spoonful of the olive oil. And about like that, and just drizzle that around. Fresh ahi tuna, grilled to perfection and dressed with warm Mediterranean-style olive oil sauce accented with garlic and shallot, capers, coriander, and mustard seed. And thanks to the omega-3s in the tuna, it's the perfect proportion of deliciously healthy fat. Your heart and your taste buds are going to love you for it.